the retrial of a man previously convicted of sodomizing and killing his six-year-old son officially begins today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Peñate. Chad Mira is on assignment. Mauricio Torres was convicted of capital murder and sentenced to death in 2016. The state Supreme Court, though, overturned that conviction, ruling the state did not prove its case for the death penalty. KNWA's Kelly O'Neill joins us live in Bentonville. And Kelly, you've been in the courtroom. What happened? today. Well, Jennifer, opening statements began at 1.30 this afternoon. Also, three witnesses took the stand. Two of them were Isaiah Torres's kindergarten teachers before he was homeschooled. The other was an EMT who performed CPR on him the day he died. Mauricio Torres showed absolutely no emotion today, even looking away after prosecutors showed him some pictures of his son. Now, both the defense and prosecution agreed that Isaiah Torres died after the contents of a puncture wound to his rectum emptied into his stomach. Prosecutor Nathan Smith argued Isaiah suffered from chronic child abuse syndrome and that both of his parents failed him by being physically abusive for at least two years. Defense attorney Bill James didn't argue the abuse but told jurors they need to ask themselves, did this conduct show Torres was aware that Isaiah would die? The defense team also argued that his wife, Kathy Torres, was responsible for for most of the abuse. Now we're going to hear from other people, other witnesses will be taking the stand. Uh, that includes two doctors, one from the hospital where Isaiah died, another from the Arkansas State Crime Lab, also a Bella Vista police officer that led the investigation, Kathy Torres, uh, Isaiah's 12 year old sister, and Mauricio Torres himself will be taking the stand within the next few days. Court, court will resume here in Bentonville at 8 30 tomorrow morning. Stay with KNWA for the latest updates. For now, reporting live in Bentonville, Kelly O'Neill, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. We'll be following this trial very closely. You can find updates on our website and KNWA News app. All new at 5 tonight, the Madison County Jail struggling to find solutions to handle detainees and protect the public without exhausting its funds or raising taxes. KNWA's Jesse Pierce spoke to the Madison County Sheriff and joins us live in studio. And Jesse, what is the main problem here? Well, Madison County doesn't have a full functioning jail, only a 24-hour holding facility. So if detainees need to stay longer, they're transported and housed in other counties, which is expensive. The county jail closed at the end of 2014 because it was not up to code. Sheriff Rick Evans says the building was outdated, the cells were small, and public safety was a concern. The county budgeted $576,000 this year to house inmates in Carroll and Washington counties. That averages out about $48,000 a month. Madison and County Clerk Tamitha Blocker says it cost more than $70,000 in January. Evan says if the county continues at this rate, it could end up going over budget by hundreds of thousands of dollars, and a new jail is necessary. We've looked at different areas looking for grants, money to try to come up with a solution. Uh, right now, the only solution is another tax, and a tax is not necessarily, I guess, a good thing. Madison County residents have voted down a tax to build a new jail at least three times in the past. Evans also approached the quorum court Monday to apply for the COP grant and hire one more deputy. The grant would cover 75% of deputy salaries and benefits for three years, but the county would need to cover the rest. But that's not happening because the county can't afford it. As Evans says the county is at a loss right now with no real solution for a new jail. In studio, Jesse Pierre, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. KNWA is your local election headquarters. Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg stopping in Bentonville today, just five days away from Super Tuesday. KNWA's Chad Mira is live in Bentonville where Bloomberg will speak this evening. Chad. Jennifer, we're here inside the record set up underway for Mayor Bloomberg. He's expected to take the stage around 7 o'clock, and you can see behind me the podium he'll be speaking at right in front of the United States flag as well as the Arkansas state flag. And plenty of floor, floor space here for people who want to come out and hear what Bloomberg has to say. And really, this is one of the first opportunities people have to get to know Bloomberg as a candidate. He skipped the first four states on the primary calendar, so voters haven't had a chance to vote for him yet. We don't know a lot about him yet. There has been one poll out of Arkansas that shows how Arkansas voters 
feel about the candidates in the race. This was done on February 7th, so let's show you what the results show. It does have Bloomberg with a slim lead at 20 percent, with Biden at 19 percent, Sanders 16 percent, Buttigieg 16 percent, and then you have Senator Elizabeth Warren at 9 percent, Senator Amy Klobuchar at 5 percent. You notice the top handful of candidates there all within the margin of error at 4.3 percent, so it's still early to say what could happen in Arkansas. We just don't know. Bloomberg hasn't been on any of the ballots yet. He's only been on the debate stage the last couple of rounds. Just since that poll was taken, he's had a couple of debates. There's been voting in other states, New Hampshire, South Carolina's this weekend. And then, of course, he has this event here tonight, just a handful of days away from Super Tuesday, his chance to make his case right in front of Arkansas voters. He's just one of three candidates we've seen here in Arkansas this election cycle. Of course, Senator Amy Klobuchar was in Little Rock recently. Uh, Beto O'Rourke made a stop in Arkansas last year. That's before he dropped out of the race. And then this Saturday, Senator Elizabeth Warren will also be in Little Rock. So she'll be campaigning here this week and ahead of Super Tuesday as well. Now, we talked to the chair of the Democratic Party in Benton County today ahead of the events he's planning on attending, wants to get some time with Bloomberg to talk about some of the issues important to him. He's talked about voting numbers so far. Early voting numbers are pretty stagnant from 2018, but he thinks events like this will help get those numbers up. I feel like a lot of Democrats have been holding back because there's the uh, debates on TV. There's this here today. So I think they've been holding back and they'll start voting heavily here in the next few days. When we first got here, a few people already excited for Bloomberg's appearance. However, not everyone is feeling that way. We have KNWA's Andrew Epperson standing by outside for us with what's going on out there. Andrew. Yeah, Chad, not everybody's a Bloomberger, if you will. There's a group planning to protest outside the record here, protest Bloomberg's speech. You can see a member of Bloomberg's security team in the red shirt there behind me. Benville Police Sergeant Gene Page says his police department's prepared to make sure nothing gets out of control and assist in any way that it can. But Page says it's a little unusual how Bloomberg's camps handle this, has handled this. Presidential candidates typically let police know weeks ahead of time that they need extra resources. Page says Bloomberg's campaign reached out yesterday. <laughs> Still, officers are here to assist Bloomberg's security team. Even in Benville, we, we do this so often that, you know, our teams can jump in, whether it's we're doing the risk assessment, the site surveys, whether it's actual physical security, we can jump in and kind of meet whatever need that they have. Page says you're going to going to want to be careful driving these packed Bentonville roads tonight. There's going to be more on the roads and traffic at 6 o'clock. Live in Bentonville, Andrew Epperson, KWA Northwest Arkansas News. Earlier today at a rally in Houston, Texas, Bloomberg shared his take on the Trump administration's downplay of the coronavirus, Trump declaring the virus to be very much under control here in the USA. President Trump was briefed on the coronavirus two months ago, uh, but he buried his head in the sand and his failure to prepare is crippling our ability to respond now that it's at our doorstep. What we've done is we've stopped non-U.S. citizens from coming into America from China. That was done very early on. We're screening people and we have been at a very high level. Senate Democrats have called for more than $8 billion in emergency funding for anti-coronavirus efforts. Wednesday, President Trump did not close the door to that request, saying, quote, we'll spend whatever is appropriate. A lot more to get to here on KNWA News at 5. Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott has the forecast coming up next. You're watching KNWA News at 5 with Jennifer Pinate, Chad Mira, and Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. Closed captioning is sponsored by Air Control. Lewis Automotive Group is proud to sponsor KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. This is a story of the American dream. It starts here, in a middle-class neighborhood with a middle-class kid named Mike. When his father died, his mother went to work and became the breadwinner. She instilled in Mike a belief in hard work and a drive to build a better life. So he started a company from scratch with an idea and endless hours. Today, that makes him the only Democrat in the race who's created 20,000 jobs. He's the only Democrat who's run the largest and most diverse city in America, rebuilding after 9-11, creating over 400 
450,000 jobs and expanding health care coverage to 700,000 people. The only Democrat who's built a grassroots movement to combat gun violence. And he's a leader combating climate change. The only Democrat who's never taken a penny from special interests. Now Mike is running to deliver on the American dream for everyone with common sense solutions and the ability to get it done. Because Mike Bloomberg is the only Democrat who can take on Trump. And Trump knows it. I'm Mike Bloomberg and I approve this message. Listen, we're friends, right? Absolutely. What's up? Well, you have to get new floors. Really? Really. When friends need new floors, you send them to Flooring America. And right now, it's our Floors for Life sale. Save up to $1,000 on floors that can handle whatever life throws at them. Or get interest-free financing for 36 months, only at Flooring America. to Nissan now for big President's Day savings on our entire lineup, like the award-winning Nissan Rogue and Altima. It's car buying season. Hurry to Nissan, official partner of the NCAA. Save $2,000 on the 2020 Nissan Altima or save $3,000 on the 2020 Nissan Rogue. Get to Nissan now. Ahead for us, the new coronavirus case in this country raising questions about transmission and adequate testing for the disease. Also, new developments in the search for two missing kids after their Idaho mother was arrested in Hawaii. More on Nightly News. Happening now, four people facing charges of capital murder after a body is found near Beaver Lake. KNWA's Lauren Craycall is live at the Benton County Sheriff's Office. And Lauren, what details do we know right now? We learned that four people were arrested in connection to the death year old Lee Jackson, whose body was found on a dirt road near Beaver Lake, but law enforcement think that he was murdered elsewhere. Take a look on your screen. These four people are currently being held at the sheriff's office for his murder. 26-year-old David Adar, Jr. of Rogers, 31-year-old Mark Brannon of Fayetteville, 20-year-old Lydia Riggs of Elkins, and 19-year-old Zachary Whitcomb of Rogers. Sheriff Sean Holloway says he believes drugs are more than likely involved in this murder. Prayers go out to the uh, to this young man's family and friends. Um, regardless of what situation he's found in, he's still a human being, and someone's at a loss for this man not being here in this world anymore. Sheriff Holloway says this goes to show the evil that can happen when you get involved with drugs. These four people will be at a bond hearing tomorrow. Stay with KNWA News as we give you updates. Live in Benton County, Lauren Craycall, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. Now, your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. Very busy in the news world today, and it gets busy weather-wise next week. But we do have a weak weather system moving in. This is a live look from Cooper Elementary, Bella Vista. If you'll notice on the radar that there is a little bit of precipitation popping up. However, still a little too dry in the lower levels for this to reach the ground. But the cloud cover has definitely rolled in this afternoon. And we do have a little bit of light rain coming our way later on tonight. You can see the clouds thickening up off to our west, dropping southeast. And when we look at the satellite and radar, there's that weather system that's moving in for the northwest and you can see all that rain just to the northeast of Wichita that is coming our way overnight tonight now most of it's going to move into southwest Missouri but northwest Arkansas will in fact get clipped by the system remember yesterday if you watch the weather we were watching this system that was diving in from south central Canada and it's in that northwest flow weather pattern you just got to know it's northwest flow here's this future track showing a little bit of light rain this evening after sundown it doesn't last very long and it does clear out. Now, as it clears out, that's going to allow for a little bit of dense fog to develop. And you'll see this here on the future track fog forecast. Uh, the red spot saying use caution. So in the early morning hours, visibility down to about a mile at Drake Field and in the protected valleys, maybe even a little bit lower. And then the fog really sets in in eastern Oklahoma, but it burns off really quickly, leading to a fantastic finally Friday afternoon. High temperatures hitting the mid-50s after morning lows around freezing. 
morning. Notice on Saturday, though, the warming trend will continue as we hit 60 already at lunchtime. Let's get to that biking forecast. We do that every Monday and Thursday, and we've got two days of glorious riding weather. Friday in the mid-50s, go for the ride. Definitely ride on Saturday. Get out and enjoy the trails. Now, on Sunday, there could be some rain and thunderstorms by the end of the weekend. So here's a look at that forecast. Temperatures hovering right around the mid to lower 60s on Sunday. Monday, we're in the upper 60s. Now, on uh, voting day, on the March primary, Super Tuesday, it's going to be a super rainy Tuesday. A lot of rain coming our way. Make sure you have the umbrellas as you head out to the polls. You'll need that. And temperatures in the mid-50s on Wednesday. Well, we have a very special treat. This is our Energizer Super Weather Kid, Gigi Vauter. How are you doing today? I'm good today. Oh, so Gigi wanted to be a Super Weather Kid for a long time, right? Yeah. This is something that since kindergarten, really, basically, and now finally you're here. You're given this forecast. Tell us a little bit about yourself, the school, and how old you are. Um, I go to St. Joseph Catholic School. Um, I'm in the eighth grade. Um, my, gra my grandfather actually was a meteorologist in the Dominican Republic. That is so cool. So <laughs> weather is literally in her blood. I mean, the head meteorologist in the Dominican Republic, he's tracked many hurricanes. And this is back in the days when they didn't have computers, which I think is just fascinating. So what's one of your favorite things about the weather? Um, I really like it when it's sunny, actually. <laughs> when it's sunny. I love that. That is great because we could use a little bit of that. We've had enough rain. Well, she's got theater background. She's going to be using it to uh, put it to good use, given that seven-day forecast. That's coming up in just a bit, Jennifer. Probably one of the best seven-day forecasts you'll see in a long time. So that's coming up. Oh, no doubt. And we are ready to watch her give that forecast. And thank you so much. Get ready for a fetching good time. What it takes to give our fur babies a spa day and take this job and love it. Coming up next. Brought to you by Burton Pools and Spas. When life changes, so do your taxes. That's a reason to switch to Jackson Hewitt. Our tax returns come with a free lifetime accuracy guarantee. Life may change. Your lifetime accuracy guarantee won't. Tax prep guaranteed at Jackson Hewitt. Earning on Daddy Claire. D don't touch it. Don't touch it yet. Let me get the big one. This one? No. This one? Yes. No. The big one. They're all the same size. With Freedom Unlimited, you're always earning. Let me get them all. Let me get them all. Let the end of if your shirt isn't tucked into your pants, are your pants tucked into your shirt? When you're getting big-time results from your constant contact emails, it's okay to let your mind wander. Try email and our new website builder, free. Life moves fast. What if you could take a moment to enjoy the little things? A hot cup of coffee with a peaceful sunrise or a walk with nature? Join us for the Oklahoma RV Adventure Show, March 5th through the 14th at Bob Hurley RV. Come see how you can take a break from the hustle of life and enjoy the little things. With hundreds of RVs and motorhomes, our team can help you find the right one for your next adventure. Start your adventure at Bob Hurley RV. Come see us in Tulsa or shop now at BobHurleyRV.com. Dolly Parton's Stampede presents a live-action adventure into America's past. The competition goes up a notch, high into the treetops. Don't miss the exciting new feature, Rumble in the Treetops. The world's most visited dinner attraction. Don't miss it. Burton Pools and Spas has the perfect solution for buying a pool without breaking the bank. Enjoy quality family time while keeping cool when the temps get hot with our semi-in-ground pool, starting at $9,997 at Burton Pools and Spas. When life changes, so do your taxes. That's a reason to switch to Jackson Hewitt. Our tax returns come with a free lifetime accuracy guarantee. Life may change. Your lifetime accuracy guarantee won't. Tax prep guaranteed at Jackson Hewitt. You're watching KNWA News at 5. Working with cute dogs all day is even more fun than you might expect. So what's all the fluff with dog grooming? KNWA's Tavares Jones gives us an inside look at the job in this week's segment of Take This Job and Love It. Hey guys, today we're at the Hounds Lounge of Fayetteville, a full-service pet resort and spa. 
Here's what it takes to do this job. Behind every good-looking pup, there's a groomer or pet stylist who makes them look their best. Everything from grooming to boarding and doggy daycare. The Hounds Lounge is the modern-day Ritz-Carlton of luxury resorts for your canine companion. Meet Caitlin, voted one of the best local groomers in Northwest Arkansas. She's showing me the ropes as we give local Shih Tzu Rosie the royal treatment. So first we're going to wet them down because um, you always want to have her wet before the shampoo. So you just want to make sure the it's just like a baby. You want to touch before. it on your wrist. Yeah, because yeah, if it's too hot, um, their skin is more sensitive than ours. Gotcha. So if warm to us, is going to be way warm to them. Now we lather it up from head to tail with the proper shampoo. Hounds Lounge has a full selection. I want to read the label um, and it'll say tearless or hyperallergenic. The dog baths are even nicer than the ones you give yourself. One blueberry facial and vanilla oatmeal powder cure at your service. It has some microbeads in it that scrub very gently to get that face nice and clean. And it also helps with like those really bad eye boogies. Uh -huh. um, if you, you'll notice if you put this on and scrub it in, you can almost pick those off with no, gotcha. no pain. And don't forget the glands. Wait, I'll leave that part to Caitlin. She's got five years in the profession. It's not so fun. It's kind of stinky. We don't have to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not for me. Now it's time to rinse Rosie down before she gets a blow dry, fluff, and style. Fellow award winning groomer Indica is already working on this golden doodle maverick. She's got six years in the game. First, we give him a bath. Um, you know, we got to get all that dirt off. <laughs> and then we ended up uh, taking the blow dryer and fluffing them out, taking our slicker brush with all the little bristles on it, and you're just going to go up and you're going to fluff them out. Really nice. And you just do that on the entire body. It's certainly a workout. On this big boy, you've got to be detailed. Making sure you get the legs, the feet, uh -huh. especially because do doodles especially can get mats uh -huh. in between their toes uh -huh. and it can cause infection or ripping of the skin. So you just really want to watch out for that. Then he gets a haircut. So you just take it. And can you look this way, Maverick? And you'll just go down. Yes. And a nail trimming. You'll take it and you just want to round it. Gotcha. You don't want to go too far because you don't want to get that quick. Right. But it's easy to tell because uh, there's a little indention. Right. Uh huh. There's a little indention right under there, and that's where you would stop. Of course, you must love dogs to do this job, but that's not enough. You're a part of the pet family, so empathy and compassion go a long way. If you're having a bad day and stuff like that, and you know, everyone has a bad day when they go to work sometimes, uh, there'll always be that one dog that runs up to you and just knows, and they'll make it much better for you. The shop really knows how to throw a party for its pups. Wave your paws in the air like you just don't care. The Hounds Lounge Hangover. It's when your pup comes in and has a great time and plays so hard, and they go home and they'll sleep for 12 hours straight. They're going to go home, drink some water, eat some food, and pass the heck out. It's the best. It's the tail wagging good time. In Fayetteville, Tavares Jones, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. Get ready for the Tokyo Olympics. Journey to Tokyo, Tuesdays at 5 on KNWA. There's no better place to buy carpet than Carpet One. Right now, we'll install any carpet free. That's free installation on any carpet, any color, any style, any brand. Plus, get measurement, estimate, and delivery free, free, free. Carpet one room, three rooms, a whole house, and get the whole installation package for free. You'll save hundreds of dollars. Get up to 40% off hardwood, laminate, tile, and vinyl floors, too. Plus, take three years to pay with no interest. It's the free installation sale at Carpet One. We make it beautiful for less. So we do things a little different at Southern Loft. We design based off of its purpose. Number one, what does it do? What is the purpose of the space? We want it to serve the customer well. So I want it to fit them. I want them to be a good pair of shoes. If it fits them right, then finally, we're going to pick colors and make it pretty. Life moves fast. What if you could take a moment to enjoy the little things? A hot cup of coffee with a peaceful sunrise or a walk with nature? Join us for the Oklahoma RV Adventure Show, March 5th through the 14th at Bob Hurley RV. Come see how you can take a break from the hustle of life and enjoy the little things.
With hundreds of RVs and motorhomes, our team can help you find the right one for your next adventure. Start your adventure at Bob Hurley RV. Come see us in Tulsa or shop now at BobHurleyRV.com. I got room. Hop in. Oh, no! Mondays, right? Get in, Brian. Thanks, Mom. Go wherever they need you. The all-new Highlander. Right now, qualify for $750 TFS cash. Or qualified lessees can lease the sophisticated all-new 2020 Highlander L for only $359 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Now, your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. So excited about our Energizer Super Weather Kid today. Uh, this girl has meteorology in her blood. Her great-grandfather used to be one of the head meteorologists in the Dominican Republic, uh, tracked hurricanes, so she's loved weather always at a very young age, and she's wanted to do the weather and be the Super Weather Kid for a very long time. So I'll let her introduce herself, and uh, we're going to go ahead with our Energizer Super Weather Kid. My name's Gigi Vodder, and this is the weather for, uh, for the week. Friday, it should be pretty warm, sunny, with a little bit of fog. On Saturday, it should warm up quite a bit and get in the mid-60s. Should be pretty sunny with a little bit of clouds. And then on Sunday, it should remain about the same, drop temperature a little bit, and it should be sunny with a bit of rain. On Monday, the temperature will rise. However, there will be thunderstorms all day. And then on Tuesday, it should, the temperature should drop. And it is election day, but it's supposed to rain, so I'd bring your umbrella. On Wednesday, it should be pretty sunny, maybe a little bit of rain in the mid-50s. And then on Thursday, should be a nice sunny day in, in the 60s. Back to you. Yeah. Amazing. Very good. Good job, Gigi. Uh, Gigi, come and on over natural. here. Yeah. Come back from the green screen here. <laughs> Little theater background. I think that definitely uh, played a role and uh, just awesome. Yes. Huh? Were you nervous at all? Um, a little bit. Yeah, you did fabulous. Thank you. So we've got a couple things for you. First all of all, right. the treasured Energizer <laughs> Easter Bunny. It can't get anywhere, so the Energizer Bunny. Not, it is. I guess it could be Easter because Easter's coming right around the corner. And two passes to the Scott Family Amazium. GG, awesome job. Yeah, thanks Thank for you. giving us the forecast yes. tonight. We'll be right back. KNWA News is your local election headquarters. Are you the last one to take a shower in the morning? No hot water? Never run out of hot water again. Steve's Plumbing, 479-631-8804, installs tankless water heaters. Mention this ad and receive $100 off installation. I'm Christine Howard, and I'm running to be your family law judge. Some of my best days are when we help adopt children. What you need to know about me is that I will always put the needs of children and innocent victims first in every case. I love that our judicial system can create stability for families and children. Please vote for Christine Howard on March 3rd. Burton Pools and Spas has the perfect solution for buying a pool without breaking the bank. Enjoy quality family time while keeping cool when the temps get hot with our semi-in-ground pool, starting at $9,997 at Burton Pools and Spas. In Branson, we believe acting your age is totally overrated. We believe in hitting the high notes, the low notes, and all the notes in between. We believe that bucket lists were meant to be emptied and your glass completely filled. Branson, you won't believe it until you do. ExploreBranson.com. Get your tax time savings right now at Lewis Automotive. Double your tax return with Lewis. Your $1,000 bonus becomes $2,000. Get 100% guaranteed credit approval. Double your tax return at Lewis Automotive Group. Are you the last one to take a shower in the morning? No hot water? Never run out of hot water again. 
Steve's Plumbing, 479-631-8804. Installs tankless water heaters. Mention this ad and receive $100 off installation. Don't get caught in the cold. Call Pascal, the ones you can trust. Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg stopping in Bentonville just five days away from Super Tuesday. Bloomberg is expected to speak tonight at 7 at the record in downtown Bentonville. KNWA's Chad Mira and Andrew Epperson are there and will bring us the very latest at 6 on his speech, plus security and traffic surrounding the area. You can get the updates on our KNWA news app. We'll have more news and weather tonight at 6. See you then.